Hi everyone, hello again. Uh, hello F1 and F2. I've got a new story today. Its title is How to Catch a Star. How to Catch a Star. And in its covered, we can see different things. We can see a big star. We can see a boy that looks... Does it look familiar, the boy? Have a look. Yeah, he really looks like the boy from the Way Back Home story, doesn't he? We can see a rocket. We can see loads of other stars in the night. So by looking at the cover, um, I want you to talk. I want you to talk to, to your parents, to your older brothers or sisters, whoever is there with you. What do you think it might happen in the story? What do you? Th what is your prediction? What pre what's your prediction about what is going to happen? Who is going to be in the story? What's going to happen to the boy in the story? What's going to happen to the star? I want you to think. Have a think about those things. Ready? Let's find out who who was right in their predictions, who guessed rightly. Are you ready for the story? Sitting up straight, eyes on the screen. Make sure parents, carers, make sure it's nice and quiet around the children now that they are going to listen to the story, please. There we go. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed how this star might be his friend. They would play hide and seek. And take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought then that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise. But he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited, and he waited, and ate lunch, and waited, and after dinner, after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go away, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump up high enough. So carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find. But the star was still way out of his reach. He thought he might 
l'azur de star with the life belt from his father's boat. But it was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star. But his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew out to the moon. When did the boy flew out to the moon? Remember? In the story in the way back home. He ran out of petrol as well, didn't he? Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help him at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Hmm, look at that picture. Have a look. How do you think the boy is feeling?